Hello world! Today I'm going to show you how to make two steps with base for children. It's a protective hairstyle that helps their hair grow and it's also a hairstyle you can wear on your kid for school. It's a school hairstyle. So now the first thing I'll show you is taking down her matting. So to do this, you're going to spray so moisturizer, what I have here is clove water. So I'm just going to spray it on her hair so that this takedown wouldn't hurt her. Say hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is just to make the hair soft because it's a natural hair. It has not been relaxed. You can see it's just losing easily. No pain. And so the next thing I'll do after taking down one is to give it a good comb with a white tooth comb. You can see what I'm doing. I would hold the base and then comb the tip. See, she's smiling. <laughs> it's not hurting her. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for all the hair I have. So keep watching, I'll show you what her hair looks like after losing everything. Look at how thick it is. If you want me to give you tips on how to grow your child's hair to be full and thick, leave a comment and I'll make a video on the tips I use for her hair. Before now, she had no hairs here and her nape at the back, but now she has a lot of hair. If you want me to give you tips on how I grew her hair, then leave a comment and I'll make a video. Okay, so I'm done taking down her matting. This one. Look at her hair. <clears throat> Sit down. This time. Okay, look at this. See, before now she had no hairs around here, like it was a like a natural mohawk. But well, look at this. So leave me a comment if you want me to give you tips on how I grow out her hair. Um. Okay. So let's jump right into making two steps with base while heading to the salon now. All right, we're in the salon now. Oh, we're just excited. You can see my daughter dancing, shaking her body. Okay, so right, we're going to make uh, two steps with base. And the first thing we'll do is to cut the pattern for the base. That's what's going on here. We're just making the pattern for the base. And then there are some things you need to know while patting the base. It's important, you know, that so that um, your hair comes out clean and fine. So it goes with measuring the eyes, which is what's going on here. It has to come like between the eyes to get the shape of uh, the base cutting. So you do that and you also measure from the side of the, the corner of the eyes too, to get how wide the base should be. So... It depends on the face of your client or your face or your child's face to know how that base should be cut. And then another thing, the, the base shouldn't be cut too far inside and it should not be too wide too. So those are the things you consider. 
don't cut it too deep in and then don't cut it too wide and you should have measured to know the parts where your base would sit from the shape of the face measuring with the corner of the eyes all right just keep watching all right so once you finish cutting the base the next thing is to mat that base to keep it in place because we need to cut the two steps at the back these two steps is two steps all back so we'll cut the first step which is the one at the back so we're just making the pattern for the first all back that we are going to do now the thing is when cutting the two steps you need to cut from one part of the ear to the other part of the ear that's from one side of the ear to the other side of the ear so that's how the pattern is meant to go as you can see so just you can see that from one part of the ear to the other part make sure you measure it so the line doesn't go zigzag so just like we did for the base we are going to make sure the pattern is clean so we'll go over it like three or four times to make sure the pattern is clean so keep watching Once that is done, we're going to mat the middle part just to keep the hair secure in place. Okay, so as you can see, we lose the base. That's because after cutting the, the back, we noticed the base, there are some strands of hair. So we just adjusted it. And we are re-matting the middle part. So that's all. There's nothing to it. After making your pattern, you notice some strands are misplaced. All you need to do is lose and make the correction. So now we head straight to making the all back. For the first base. So now most people start their all back from the side. But um, it's best to start from the midpoint. So that since it's a straight all back so that everything we align straight and would be equal because most times when you start from the side you end up uh, probably making some mistakes like not cutting properly and then one side would would look thinner or smaller than the other side so that's the essence of starting your um hair from the from the middle so when you start from the middle, you avoid that kind of error. And whenever you make your pattern, before you make the hair, it's always important you add the cream. Like you saw that we just added cream to the pattern. This makes it stay better even more. So the next thing we'll do now is to make the size of how you want the the hair the weave you make the pattern of how you want the weave to be big either big or small or medium it depends on your preference going to add cream and then give it a good comb the combing of the hair makes the hair also neater and sm smooth 
So now just pay close attention to how we're going to pick this hair. You're going to cut the hair into three parts and um, you pick those three parts and then keep using your fingers, your thumb and your index fingers. Those are the ones that you work with and you just use it to go over the hair picking three three as you go just watch what what's going on here you can see as you keep going down you keep picking three 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 as you keep going down okay so again we're going to make our pattern and then pick three of the hair at the beginning why you keep holding the hair at the bottom holding the next hair at the bottom downwards you can see you can see and like i said you work with your thumb and your index finger your thumb and the index finger for the two hands to pick So what we did on the other side of the hair, we just repeated on this other part of the hair. And there we have the back complete. It's as easy as that. So you can um, watch and then rewatch this video to get the method used or to learn it properly and then improve your skills so once we are done with that first um all back the second step now it would lose the matting for the hair which we have done right now and then we are going to start making the all back but this is going to be different you remember when we started the back we started from the middle but now for this second step we are not going to start from the middle we're just going to get the midpoint which is what's going on right here so after getting the midpoint then we are going to start from the side from the side to the middle because if we make it from the middle 
the hair is going to fall straight and we don't want it to fall straight we want it to be slanty right like that we want it to slant backward like that not just straight back so this is how we're going to cut the slants from the side this way so this is called a slant back two step not just a straight over So as the usual process is to get a clean cut of the pattern, you put the cream, hair cream in the pattern and then go ahead to make your weave down. So just keep watching, follow the steps and you're good to go. okay so the cutting is just going to be slant 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 but remember we made a pattern at the middle of um, the hair and um, that pattern we made is for us to know where the slanting will stop because we just can't keep cutting it slant 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 if we keep cutting it slant slant and then all the hair is going to go one-sided slanted one-sided so while we are getting to the middle the slanting will turn to a straight cut once we get start getting to the middle i'll explain further so right now we're still at the sides we're going to keep cutting in a slanty way just like we are seeing so once we're getting to the middle i'll explain further what we do there So right here, we're just reconfirming that middle point uh, that we cut at the beginning of this second base because from now, we want to readjust that slant so that the hair doesn't appear like it's slanty to one side. So once we are gotten that midpoint, now the next thing to do is to check the top and the bottom when you check you would notice because you've been cutting it slightly you will notice that the top is wider than the bottom yeah you see the bottom is not as wide as the top so to correct this and to make the hair appear straight when it's getting to the middle you are going to cut the middle the top rather you're going to cut the top wider than the bottom so you cut the top white and you adjust the cutting as it gets to the bottom. So the bottom is smaller. So that's what you're just going to do for everything till you get to the midpoint. Then after doing that, 
you turn to the other side of the hair and start from that other side down to the midpoint again i hope you understand anyway as you watch the video you'd get warm at what i'm saying okay so now we are at the other parts of the hair the other side so like i said before we are just going to repeat what we did on the other side at this point now at this side of the hair just like we did in the first base so that's it just keep watching Right, so we are done with the second all back and we've just started the base or the front as most people would call it so in this front we're not just going to cut it straight to the front we're going to cut it in a curved way just to give it a style just like you're seeing in the video right now so we we'll cut it in a curved way just like that and we put the cream comb and then we make our weave as usual. So, after cutting the first part from the front, the second part will cut from at the back of that base, and then next to cut at the front, at the back, just front, back, front, back, until we are left with the last one. So, keep watching, and that's what we'll do till we finish this base.
okay so like i said we'll be cutting front back we've just finished um weaving the front so now you can, can see that we're cutting the back so I, I i believe you should understand what i'm trying to explain by now just keep watching we're almost about to finish this here it's about three three weaves left And now we have come to the end of this hair. You can see how beautiful this weave is. How neat the cutting is. And so if you follow the procedure every step of the way, you should be able to make this style yourself. Or at least use this to perfect your skills. Wow. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this hair looks. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, if this video was helpful to you, give a thumbs up, share, comment, 